Hi, this is Jenny with Simply Beautiful Crafts on behalf of Expert Village and today we're going to make a very fun, very colorful tropical fish wall hanging. To make this little wall hanging, the first thing I did was to find some stickers in the craft section of the uh, yeah, in the sticker section of the craft store. There are the shiny ones and there were these little ones. There were about four or five different variety. Found the little stickers and then I found this delightful ribbon that is two-sided. Now normally when you start a project like this and you're going to weave your ribbon, you're going to start at the back, come through the front, and if you have a two-sided ribbon, usually you're going to want to keep the same side up. But because this ribbon was the same on both sides and very pretty, even though it was a different color, it's the same texture, I went ahead and put it through and I held it. Then I put it down and when it came back up again, I had twisted it underneath so that it had the effect of being purple and then green and then purple and then green. So I was very delighted with the effect of that. When you have woven your ribbon all the way through your wreath, turn it over on the back, lay a bead of hot glue in the seam, hold your ribbon until it's cool, clip off the ends and secure the other end. Then you want to take your embellishments and you want to put your embellishments around until you're happy with the way they look. So I played with the fish and then I had an idea. I thought it would be nice if it looked like the sea behind it. So at first I decided to take a picture of the ocean but with my tropical fish that just didn't look right so I decided to be less busy and I took a piece of oak tag and drew a circle that was a little bit bigger than the back of my wreath so that I would have that color behind it. And then on this one there were these stickers. I put some of them behind, as you can see, on the paper, and then others I put out in front. So I would have that 3D effect, because after all, this is the ocean or a very large fish tank that your fish are swimming in. Once I had that finished, I made a one-loop bow for the bottom, and then took another piece of small ribbon that was the same color as the paper, and made a hanger for the back. Once you've secured that, your wall hanging is ready to go, because you're using hot glue, and as soon as it's cool, it's very secure. And that's how I made my tropical fish wall hanging. 